Are you wanting to turn your game from looking like this to this? In this video, I'll be showing the absolute best ways on how to make your game look better and feel smooth on Roblox. But before we get started, I need you to do me a favor. I'm close to hitting 10,000 subscribers, and with the help of you, I can reach it. And in return, I'll be donating 10,000 Robux. So subscribe now for the best content you ever see in 2024. Now to the video. The first thing you want to do to make your game run better is not even on Roblox settings. First, go to Windows settings down here on the left side. Now from here, you want to click on the system. Go to display scroll down until you guys see advanced display setting and click on it now from here click on display adapter properties for display one but even before that make sure you guys have on the right display and now click on display adapter properties go over to monitor if you guys don't have this that means your monitor is not capable of going above 60 or whatever that mid-range is so mine is set to 165 hertz step number two is to go into your control panel and make sure your battery is set to performance. To do this, go down, down here either, or just click on the Windows key and start typing control panel. Once it pops up, click on it. Now from here, click on power options. And you guys might be on balance or power saver. Now click on high performance. Now once that's set, all you have to do is apply changes and then click on it. So the third step on this is also go back to the Windows settings. Go over to gaming. Now you guys can either choose between these settings. These are all optional. And the first one is turn off game bar. That's if you guys need to, unless you guys have friends over Xbox. And if so, keep this on. Now for captures, turn off background recording. This just makes your PC run more stuff within the background of your gaming experience and that is not what we need to have that smooth gameplay. The next step is to turn off any apps you guys do not want when you turn on your computer. For this, again, it is also in the Windows setting. Now from here, click on apps, go to startup, and from here on, click on any of these you guys do not want on when you start your computer. So like any of these, I have all of them off. If you guys want everything off, go right ahead, but yeah. My main things I would probably have open are little tiny things because if you guys have a game opening as soon as you turn on the computer, it will take a lot more time to even start. The next step is using your guys' GPU to actually make Roblox run faster. For this, again, open Windows settings. Now from here, click on system. And while in display, scroll down until you guys see graphics settings. Now you guys should have this on or off up to your preference. Now from right here, you guys want to click on browse. Now this will be different for some people. Now for me, you go to Windows C. Now you go to users, your user, go to app data, local, and find Roblox. Now from here, click on versions, and then you want to click on the most recent version you guys are playing on, which for me is this one currently right here. Click on this, click on Roblox player beta, and then click add. But since I did that already, you want to click down here, click on options and set it to high performance. If you guys did not show up, here is another way on how you guys can find it. Click on browse, go to windows. Now from here, click on program files and find Roblox within this file. And now for me, it's not there. It is somewhere else because that's where I downloaded it. But for you guys, it may be different. Now for the next tip, go to Windows settings once again. Head on over to system. Click on about. Now from over here, go to the right side of the screen and click on advanced system setting. This little thing should pop up and you guys want to click on advanced. Under performance, click on settings. Now from this page right here, you guys can either let Windows choose, adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or custom, which you guys just click and do whatever. I'll let you guys decide whether or not copy mine or you guys make your own. I would recommend copying my own settings right now. 
After that, click on apply. The next step, we are heading back to Windows settings. Now from here, click on update and security. And we're going to see if you guys have any Windows updates you guys need to download right now. Check for updates. And this might take a bit depending on how many updates you guys have. Now the update I have available is a security update, which is not really important. This I could update, but as of right now, I'm going to ignore and continue the video. The last setting before we get into Roblox is to update your GPU driver. Now, personally, myself, I had both AMD and Nvidia, but currently right now I have an Nvidia graphics card. Now for GeForce, you guys want to come down, click on the Windows key and search GeForce. And GeForce experience should pop up. Open this. This should pop up. Go over to drivers and click check for updates. Now it says I have the latest GeForce game ready driver. And after that, you guys are pretty much set. Now it is time to download FPS Unlocker for Roblox. Go on over to your search browser of your guys' choice. And now from here, search up RBX FPS Unlocker. It should be the first one that popped up. Now as of right here, go down until you see this currently. RBX FPS Unlocker 64. Once the download is complete, open this. It should pop up as an application and that is good. Open this again. And now once you guys have opened it, it should pop up with some little code thing and it should be within your hidden task down here. Roblox FPS Unlocker. Now that we have that, we can close out of that. Right click on it and click exit. Well, for this video, I'll be opening up Arsenal because it shows how much FPS you currently have. Okay, so once Arsenal has opened, for me at least, go over to Roblox settings over here. Now reduce your graphics quality to at least half or most, depends on what you guys want. After that, open up the FPS unlocker and see how much FPS you guys get. Now, once you guys have opened the FPS unlocker, it should be in your hidden task in the taskbar. Right click on this and FPS cap you want to set to either or I have it on none and I'm going to see how much FPS we get when we play the game. Now, just like that, your FPS is well past 60. I hope this video helped you guys actually make your guys' game 10 times better. If you guys are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.